and welcome back. I'm Hunter and this is my channel Hunter's Designs where I cover all things DIY home projects and decorating. If you're anything like me, you've already taken down your Christmas decor or you're planning to but you're wondering how you're going to decorate now that the holidays are over. Either way, in today's video we are going to talk about how you can refresh your decor for the winter and reuse some of your holiday decorations before you take them down if you haven't already. It's okay if you did. So for my first tip for you all is to scale down your holiday decor. If you have not already put away everything into the basement, what I mean by this is if you use some trees or any like sorted greenery arrangements throughout the holiday season that maybe you can pare down on some of the holiday decorations that were added to it or just reusing it and putting it somewhere else that makes it look not holiday related but still appropriate for winter, then I would recommend keeping those up. Some great winter greenery examples that you can add to your home or keep up if you already have them include blue spruce, pine, eucalyptus, juniper, cedar. There's a bunch of great options that if you don't already have them, you can buy them and it still feels very winterized in your home. My second tip is to bring nature indoors. This is a very hot, trendy topic in the interior design world, especially in the Scandinavian design style, is to bring in outside, inside. It really just helps bring in that earthy feeling and it's great for a winter refresh. So when I think of this, I think of pine codes, greenery, snow, wood, you can use logs. These are all really great examples of nature that can be brought inside and used to decorate in a creative way. So for example, pine cones are really great because you can use them in vases to act as a decorative accent. You can put them near or around candles avoiding the burning hazard that they may have. Um, you can also use winter greenery picks on jars or just anywhere on your shelves. I think just in general, combining pine cones in some form of greenery is just super refreshing to look at. And then I also think you can use decorative logs. I really like this look of having some logs um, either in a basket, on shelves, or even if you have that um, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's that thing that holds your firewood. Um, if you had put the firewood or decorative logs in there, I think it's really pretty. You don't have to have a fireplace to have some decorative logs. I think it's just another example of the way that you can bring nature indoors and decorate for winter. Number number three is to amp up your coziness with textures and also smells. Candles are definitely key. So with textures, you just want to layer them, layer them, layer them, and also decorate with textures. So for example, I think faux fur blankets are an excellent way. It's already winter, so depending on where you live, it's gonna be cold, right? So I think having a nice textured blanket really helps to easily be functional and decorative. The second one would be linen pillow covers. I think just having this difference of texture, depending, it could be different than the texture on your sofa. Having difference of textures just makes it feel so cozy, but something about layering textures really helps with this feeling. And during the winter, we all want to be a little cozy. Burlap is another good one of a different type of texture. Yarn, you can do yarn pom-pom garlands. Um, even I've seen these fun sweater candle holders, so you can reuse an old sweater, make a little candle holder out of it. And then also wood candles are excellent too. I really am into remote controlled candles. I think Target has a great selection of pillows and blankets. That's where I've gotten pretty much all of my pillows and blankets. So if you are looking or in the market for some pillows and blankets, I would highly recommend Target because they really do have a bunch of great options and they pretty much keep them in stock. For my 
my fourth point is to think of your color scheme that you want to decorate with. So I know that right now for the holiday season I have a lot of reds and greens up and I think for my winter refresh and decorating I'm going to pare down all of the color and make it a bit more neutral. It's just also very calming after I've had so much holiday decor just spritzed everywhere. I think I'm ready for a pared down color palette. So I think neutrals are a way to go for a winter refresh, but also you can go with a cooler color palette. So deep blues, like a jean color, or even light blues. I really think that a lighter blue, darker blue, white combo is a great way to just, there's, it's calming, but it also just makes you feel refreshed, which is perfect for the new year. You could also maybe want to warm up your color palette, and so you certainly can for a winter decor and I think a great way to do this is to actually use brass or copper accents. I think these are just a beautiful way to add warmth to a space. I'm a huge advocate of brass and copper colors. I use them quite a lot and it's just because I prefer a warmer color tone but I also don't want to be too extra with my colors. Total advocate of brass and copper as a way to warm up a space. My fifth point is if you are interested in this is to keep spring in mind and I say if you're interested in this because if you don't like to redo all your decor for every single season maybe some of the items that you choose for winter can easily be transitioned to spring so for example you can add floral picks to any of your greenery or vase arrangements I found these beautiful lavender picks on Amazon I think you can just basically turn any of your greenery arrangements vases shelves any of that, it's easily transitioned to spring by just adding some floral picks down the road. And for my sixth point is to understand huga and how to achieve it. And if you don't know what huga is, I'm gonna throw up a definition on the screen so we can read it together because I do not wanna get this wrong. Huga is defined as a noun, a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that engenders a feeling of contentment or well-being. And I think that this is super important because a lot of people for winter or just redecorating, what they aim for is to feel at home, to feel happy in the space that they're living in. And I think that once you understand what makes you feel happy, what makes you think of your well-being and your state of contentment and, and coziness, then you change how you decorate and what you decide to put up as decoration. last point is lighting and I truly believe in the power of lighting and how it can totally change the vibe in your space, the your state of being comfy and cozy because this is something that, and I think a lot of people do this, they think one lighting source is enough for a space. And it, it could very well be true. One lighting source could shed light on your whole space, however, I challenge you, see what happens when you add more lighting to your home, your room, where, wherever you want to test it. See if you can light up different corners and see how that changes your state of comfiness and coziness, but also your vibe. Because I think that lighting for some reason just changes the game. And so I think you can do this by either adding candles, I did mention earlier, that I really like remote controlled candles just because they um, can be on a timer and they'll turn on every night at the same time. Um, I also bought these curtain lights that I just have all over now because I really love the, um, I mean they are a little bit holiday-ish, but I still think they're great to use all year round. So there's these curtain lights that you can add to a room, I think perfect for dorm rooms especially. And then also just general lamps so you can buy table lamps for nightstands or tables in your living room. 
you can buy tall with like self-standing lamps or you can also buy overhanging lamps if you want something a little bit out of the way but still there and I think Target has such a great selection for lamps so I would highly recommend them and then also there's fireplaces and I know that not everyone can have a fireplace so I did find on Target that there was this nice electric log set that you can also um, remote control and I think this is great because you don't necessarily need to have a home to have a fireplace there's no limitations here you can always have a little bit of log fireplace no matter where you go so that one I will definitely link below and then there's also the fireplace that we bought which if you are in the market for a DIY fireplace makeover I will link that below the video for you below because that is such an amazing way to bring comfiness and coziness to your space especially for the winter okay so in summary some things you can do to spruce up your home for winter scaling down your holiday decor but keeping some of it out to reuse bringing nature indoors, bring all those cozy winter vibes, but inside, especially if you're not going outside, amping up your coziness in your space with textures upon textures upon textures and smells. Color scheme, choose a color scheme that's gonna make you feel refreshed, but also maybe if you want it to be transitioned for the next season. Keeping spring in mind if that is something you'd like to do, understanding who got and how to achieve it in your home, and finally, lighting and knowing how it can transform your space and make you feel super comfy and cozy for winter. So with that, I hope you guys got some great tips on how to refresh your decor after the holidays, get ready for winter, make your home feel comfy and cozy, and I still have yet to decorate downstairs and take down our holiday decorations, but I would love to know if you've already taken down your decorations, if you have a plan for how you're going to decorate now, leave a comment below, and also let me know what you're excited about for the new year, 2021 crazy. So let me know down below. And with that, I will see you guys next year and or next year, next week. And I'll see you on that video. Okay. Bye guys.